Well, hi. This is October 25th, 2014. Just recently, uh, yesterday, there was another school shooting in a place called Marysville in Washington State. It's a city near Seattle, a suburb of Seattle, I guess. The person that did the shooting, a young man, he was a freshman. He wasn't a, a Muslim terrorist. He wasn't uh, somebody that was off his medication. He wasn't protesting anything. He, uh, he had to break up with his girlfriend, and I guess it didn't sit well with him. So he went in with a gun, killed one person and then himself, and wounded like, I guess, three or four more. I'm sure the news is full of the details. But I know uh, what will start happening now is the, the gun control folks will start getting all wound up again. You know, they love, they love stuff like this. It, you know, our president, he, he'll come on and he'll say he's appalled, but he loves stuff like this because it gives him another chance to stand up and try to take guns off of Americans, which is his desire and a desire of many others. But the thing is, the problem really isn't guns. It's not guns. There's been guns around forever. And the problem sure isn't too much religion in school now, is it? At least not too much Christ. They, have, they might have some kind of religion. Matter of fact, they do have a religion. They preach the religion of evolution and atheism. That's a religion. They preach that, that we're nothing but monkeys that have a, a little more highly evolved brain. So it's the law of the jungle. Survival of the fittest. Strongest one wins. Whoever got the biggest gun wins. And that's kind of the way it's going. Not for all the kids. I, I'd say not even for most of the kids, but that's, that's the thought. We have a, a couple generations now that have been taught that there is no God. We've been taught that. And I wonder why all these shootings go on, and, and there's a good video out there that was made a few years ago that listed all the different shootings, high school shootings and college shootings. And the conclusion was, you know, uh, the end of the video says something like, God, why are you letting these things happen? And God says, I'm not allowed in school. Hmm. Well, pray for the United States of America. We're... Uh, we're in deep trouble. We're living under a curse. We sow to the wind and we're reaping the whirlwind. And the things that are going on today in our nation, the loss of our liberties, the loss of our freedoms, it's all a payback for years and years, decades, even centuries of a nation that claimed to be one nation under God, that didn't always follow the precepts of God. You know. God bless you. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. You never know when the end is going to come for you. Bullets don't have eyes. You go where they're shot. So God bless you. Put your faith in Christ so that you can know that when your time comes, you can spend eternity in the presence of God in heaven. The alternative is an eternity in blackness and darkness of hell. So uh, God bless you. Have a great day. Pray for the people in Marysville, in Seattle, Washington. Pray for that, pray for that city. Here in Pittsburgh, we just recently had, a few months ago, a young man went into a, a school with a knife, no guns, with a knife. And he, he stabbed, I forget how many people, there was a, a fairly significant amount of people. Again, the law of the jungle. We've taught them it. Yeah. 
Put your faith in Christ. God bless you.